Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, crash landing with me, Sid. For a moment there, I forgot what I was playing again. Usual for me there. <laughs> it's, it's age, you know. Um, I'm just in the guts of the mob spawn at the moment. I just want to show you it's working like a charm. Um, we're getting all sorts of drops just from the dark room environment. So I am going to have to automate the collection of some of this stuff, I think. And... Uh, pull this all together otherwise these chests are going to be snided out with bows and stuff but yeah we're getting we're getting all sorts of interesting little drops I mean not huge rates but you know when I've not got it switched on it's fine okay so today uh, I just to let you know I also created a lumber axe I upgraded my um, crafting table thingy up there and decided lumber axe was the best way to handle the uh, little tree farm up there uh, for the time being. Now, I'm not going to go down because this is pretty much standard. If you watch my crafting paradise, you've seen this anyway. Down there is a new cobble gen. I've based it outside the base to keep the heat down. Um, exactly the same as usual. Lava cobble in the middle, transfer nodes, and the pipes are coming down into the guts of the base here. Um, because I want to start here we go, pipes come in here, I brought the power network down as well um, I want to start automating my ore production a little bit well, quite a lot actually, and I'm going to bravely, I'll say, because I've never used this before in my life um, I need a couple of barrels, don't I, while I'm thinking about it there's one, what was the recipe for those again, oh god uh, logs, chests, and a plank. Okay, well, we can manage that. I need another barrel. Uh, logs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a slab. We'll get one of those going while we're at it. Yeah, I've never used Steve's Factory Manager before in my life. Um, oh, I need another log. <laughs> Typical seven. Give me a log, please. Thank you. Uh, I've had a little play around with it and I've got a basic setup I'm going to use now this is, to be honest this is really really basic stuff I'm not re exploiting SFM uh, beyond really beyond where we, we want to be beyond you know the basics it's just going to be a super advanced sorting pipe network so I want to make a bunch of these for starters uh, I've got most of the stuff together we need um, down to my last two machine frames and reception coils there so let's get this thing made and I could just um, pile this in but I've laid the recipes out and um, for those of you who recognize it that's pulverizers so I've got three pulverizers um, I also want let's do this next uh, this is a fairly basic recipe and I, I figured there should be enough hopefully this should make enough for, for what I want um, bonk, bonk, bonk and bonk should have really stuck them into that mind you that sorts it all wonky so that wouldn't have been perfect uh, so Steve's Factory Manager inventory cables and the other thing I need to make off the bat right now is a couple of these. I only need one for now but to get the first stage running uh, we'll need that. Okay, bonk and bonk and bonk and bonk. Do, do, uh, just grab those and funk. Uh, so we need the Steve's inventory manager. I also want to, uh, da, 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 I want some item ducting, one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, just take a pile, I'm going to need a couple more of those, well, one at least, yeah, just the one in fact, uh, glass, give me a couple of panes, a couple of pieces of glass and a piece, of, oh, ended up kind of just staring at the ceiling there for momentarily, just need one more uh, servo just to for the basics here okay so 
how are we going to do this? Well, obviously this pipe here is running across to the cobble gen and we've got power here, all nicely lined up. And what I want to do, in fact, let's just take those out temporarily. Give me them. So I'm going to have three pulverizers. These are all going to get the power from the reactor and we'll set those currently to off. And then the top is my input and the bottom is my output for everything. Okay, 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 okay. And then we can take those three cables and plug them back in if I can get up there. There we go, one, two, three, and with a bit of luck, yep, that's got 64, that's now got 64, that's got 64. So this is going to create gravel with a 10% chance of sand. Uh, all pretty straightforward so far. And at this point we're going to bring these out. Uh, I need my three, I mean I could do this with levers, but at this stage I might as well do it the proper way. <laughs> nope, too far. And then we're going to go and go one, two. Yeah, yeah, that should do. I need to just borrow a piece of gravel. Uh, has anybody got sand yet? This you have. Good. So take me two barrels. We'll go barrel and barrel. Uh, this one is going to be gravel. And this one is going to be sand. Lock them in. Maybe I didn't need the older actuators then. It's spitting them out anyway. Ah, interesting. In which case, I'm, I'm going to have those back, I think. <laughs> They're cheap enough now, but not so cheap that I want to waste them. Okay, so that is making us gravel and is making us sand. All pretty straightforward stuff so far. Um, so, beneath here, you'll remember we had our squid farm. Uh, so what we're going to do, for starters on this floor, is we're just going to rip out a bit of floor here. And we're going to stick in some inventory cable. I oh, might as well just drop down and do it from underneath. But but but. Now, here, I want, oh god, I've not brought them down. Let me go and grab them, and oh, get rid of that as well. Uh, and get rid of a little bit more crap out of my inventory while that's working away. So, where are we? Lost myself. Eight sieves. Uh, we're going to have... I'll just grab those, and it was chest, thing, tin, and those. Machine frame, redstone reception coil, chest. That's right, isn't it? Sure, that was a recipe. Autonomous activator, chest, tin. Pneumatic servo. Not those. Those. I need two more servos. Okay. Not a problem. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two. While we're here, get rid of you. Get rid of you. And I need... One, two, three, four. Okay, so we can just, I think it works this way around as well. No, it doesn't. It's shaped. Typical. So we've got our servos, and that will give us 
five autonomous activators we've got eight of these and I just need a few building blocks now and we will use blue glass oh I went back to the city I've got a whole load more of these blocks hence what I um, from the stash that I've got out there uh, okay where are we we are here so from here where's a good one let's have a look one two three four five six seven eight that's a little bit too far that way but if I go this way one two three four five six seven eight I can do it sideways on I suppose can't I yeah so what we'll do is we will place starters some more inventory cable down here that's four I need a much I can tell oh god hang on let me just go and grab some of this I need to just revise my uh, I don't want to waste well don't want to waste anything really uh, so we take you out we'll place you back I appear to have managed to pick up a piece of uh, a stack of gravel in the process so you can go down like that and yeah that's good and where are we where's that gravel gone we'll stick this back so this is doing pretty good already I mean we've got like a stack of gravel and 24 sand um, in the, just in the time we've been working and we can stick our first five autonomous actuators down like that turn right the input is from the bottom and then because I could potentially add more autonomous actuators here we're going to have eight of these running down to here all very straightforward and then and now one thing I haven't got here which I just realized is uh, I'm probably right leaving that con I suppose I can just stick the inventory manager in here for this bit. Although that is probably no. Oh, I can access it from underneath. Yeah, that's fine. Not a problem. And then, oh, get down here. Oh, we need our water flow now. So, bank. And that should stop just there. Nicely done. And again, I can tart this up. I could move it further out so I've got more walk space around, but I'm not sure whether I should or not. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to have a gold chest here. Um, again, not perfect because I have to kind of jump over it and do stuff but you know this this is something that once it's working I shouldn't have to do a great up oh, that's not right shouldn't have to do a great deal of work to maintain it will just do its thing is the idea um, I suppose I could also if I really wanted to I could just cut round and cut through this way and expand this room a little bit there's there's plenty of room to go back that way anyway um let's just make sure oh, i've introduced a dark spot perfect so at the moment this is obviously doing absolutely nothing um and we need to introduce a controller which is going to be here for this network there's going to be two networks involved here and what we are going to do is we're going to if you've not seen this this is a really powerful mod um, and it is way more complex than I am 
things. So the first thing you need is a trigger. We're going to create an input for the system and we're going to create an output for the system. So the input is going to target the first barrel, which should be gravel, one block away. Yep. Uh, the down, I don't think it matters for barrels and it doesn't matter. We'll just do blacklist and have nothing blacklisted. And then the output is going to, all right, we've got two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hang on then, one, two, three, four, five, six, cables away, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the, this is the fun bit where you're trying to work out which inventories you're actually targeting. So that one is two blocks away, that one is two blocks away but six, that one's two blocks away but seven, three blocks away, four blocks away. So I want to do that one and that one. So I'm going to have two of these running gravel. Uh, and it's going to run the command once. Um, we could do it a shared commands command, or we can run it once per target. So um, let's do that one actually. Now the target is going to be the bottom, because in the case of the autonomous activators, we told it the bottom, uh, and we can whitelist. We'll just white we'll just whitelist gravel just to make sure there's no danger of anything going into that that we don't want and then we just link that and that and what we should start to see all things being equal have I got you have got you set to input haven't I hmm Why are you no working? Okay, we'll change the uh, the target. Uh, multiple inventory. We'll just do it on run command once then. That is definitely the bottom. What happens if we change it to that? I'm sure that's correct for input. Inventories. All right, let's put it back onto blacklist and clear. That. Ah, yep, that's right. So that needs to be input. And then it should, in a moment, start getting gravel. Yep, so the gravel is being basically pushed out. Um, the pulverizers should pulverize gravel much faster than this will sift it. So eventually these will be full and then that will act as a buffer zone. Uh, and the sand is doing its thing and all is good. That's just ticking away and it's chucking the the contents down here. So that's all well and good. But what happens? How do we... I mean, this is pretty much useless as it is. Now, we want to combine it. Uh, and this is where we need another pulverizer and a few more chests and another another network basically so I am going to just go and grab another get another pulverizer put together because I forgot about that bit uh, I may move my bed I'm just trying to think how we can we can bring it around this way can't we and run that over here yep the sand will come back to that's uh, probably another episode it's worth and that's going to go into one of these things and then we're going to bring dust into here which will give us our uh, completely automatic system. Yep, right, I need to get a pulverizer, so I'll be right back with you.
Okay, it's taken me a little longer than I expected to do this because I, I went and did this extension and then realised that it was virtually empty all the way up, so I had to fill it in. Um, so I brought the power down, that's coming around over here. Uh, we will have a pulverizer which is going here, and it is going to have, let me just get, I need to put... Uh, you like that, oops, little wiggle there, and um, one there, and it's going to, hang on, it's going to output to that side and input from the bottom, there we go. Now the only other thing to go in here is upstairs, and what we need to do is go and just borrow, well, borrow, we're taking it, we're not putting it back ever. We are going to take this. Uh, have I got any panels? I have. Excellent. So we can top that off. Uh, I can grab these for now because that's all it recognises. Uh, oh. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, and we can take those later on. Um, well, all it will recognise, I should say, because all it's doing is gravel at the moment. Now, in the while I've been doing that, let me just show you, that is our hall so far, plus this lot. So that's a gold chest. We're going to take an iron chest as our output and place it here. And we are going to... And please work this way around. I've just realised I'm not sure whether it's going to do it... I think it worked. Oh god, this is going to be a pain if... Ha ha ha, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Works left to right, doesn't it? Just bear with me a second. Okay, sorry about that. My wife uh, has gone away with, uh, with my mother-in-law. Um, and she's stopping over there tonight, and then they're away for five days. So I had to drop her over. Um, but while I was away, I used the time efficiently and came up with an idea to make this work. And look, it is working. Everything is getting packaged nicely. And the solution was simple. Turn it round. So that is now the left-hand side. That is the right-hand side. Um, yeah. Anyway, so this is making the gravels. Um, but of course, and also, as you can see, coal blocks and lapis blocks, and it will eventually make diamond and emerald blocks. Um, so there are a couple of things we need to do. I need uh, I need to go and just borrow something from upstairs. I think I have a spare here. Yes, I've got a spare one here. We'll have that one. There are certain things in there that I am not going to want. So what we need to do, for starters is drop a bin on there. We've got that, we've got that, and then I want get this right, this, and um, let me just take you out, and we'll go with that. And because I like the idea of it being above the floor rather than just embedded down, we'll put the inventory manager there. Okay, so we have gravels. Gravels are no good to me because I can't triple them in the super duper smeltery, the um, high oven. Pardon me. So what I need to do is I need to make, this is going to be um, quite convoluted. We need a trigger. I'm going to need an input. And I am going to need an output. Uh, so the first thing we're need, going to need to do is we're going to say from, let me get the right, from the, it is, no, 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 it's from the iron chest. So that from the iron chest, down, again, it doesn't matter with chests, let me just check how I've got, how I did this. Uh, bottom is input, and the side is output now let me just check which way is that facing oops <laughs> hit the right key 
facing east, so it's the east side. Okay, that's the only one of the few things that's a little bit of thing. So anyway, we're doing down. We've got that one. So now we're going to whitelist some items, and we are going to whitelist um, gravel or that's. Uh, Oh, I, I want the gravel ore, but I need to make sure. I'll tell you what, we'll do it. We'll do it the uh, hard way. We want iron gravel ore. Or oh, yeah, let me just check. It is iron ore gravel. You have to get this right, otherwise it just won't work. So the whitelist is iron ore. Gravel, and then we want. Uh, let's see. There's going to be gold or gravel. There is going to be. Uh, let's get this right. We're going to have tin or gravel, and <coughs> uh, tin, copper. Copper or gravel. Now there's nine of these, so what else we got? We got lead, um, silver or gravel. Uh, there is platinum. There is ferrous, uh, nickel, not ferrous. And finally, last but not least, there is aluminium. Are you, of course, it's not going to be aluminium on here. It is going to be aluminium because... Oops, because. Let me just check. So that should be nine items. Okay. Ah! Close. And then output is going to be to the pulverizer on the bottom activate and it's going to be blacklist so drag those over link them all up uh, eventually Doo -doo. Uh, so we link those up and that should now be active and it's pulverizing the gold now, at the moment, I've not got anything set to take that out, so I need to remove the contents of this. Um, <clears throat> now, I want... So, uh, let me get this right. The sand can go back in here, and the crushed gold ore wants to go back over here to be auto-packaged. Auto so it's a pretty much the same thing. We're going to have another trigger. And we are going to have another input and another output. This time the input is from the pulverizer. Uh, from the east side. And let's get this right. It is going to whitelist sand Oh god, I'm going to have to go through all this again. So it's iron or sand. And similarly through those. So I'm going to get this one set up. And what that will do is that will output those to inventory. Uh, it is the iron chest. Activate and that's going to be blacklist. So I just need to complete this list off here for the items. Oops, don't want that. And uh, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so at this stage, what I've got is I've... Um, let me just show you. I've got three triggers. This is the one we did, and that's the one that takes the sand back to the iron chest. This one takes the crushed iron 
the 10 percent or whatever it is chance that you get extras in here and pops it back in here and when there's four of those they will get turned into sand and moved back into here all clear so far um now the the next thing we need to do is let's just drag you over here so we can actually see what we're doing not the item is we now need to add um the sands iron or sand uh, and so on and so forth and that will then gold or sand crush that down into dust which is of course what we want <laughs> um, yeah so it's tin or sand so yeah we've got to do that and I will be right back once that's done Okay, so I've now, let me just show you, we've expanded this to include pulverized. So if the sand is going back in here, what we're getting sometimes is some pulverized extra dust coming out. And that should be going into here. And again, when that gets to four, it'll get pushed and that will become dust. Um, so... The final things we need to do is to move the dusts, um, coal, lapis at the moment, uh, and eventually diamond and emerald. Oh, and we also need to sort out the flint. Um, the flint needs to go in here, and the final products are going to go into this chest here. Um, so, we're going to have two more triggers uh we'll do the flint one first because that is dead easy uh, da, da. Uh, and eventually we'll have to do this with redstone and uh, quartz and all sorts of things as we add the other stuff in um, but we're going to take our import the input is going to be the iron chest uh no it's not the input is going to be, let me just check, the input is going to be the gold chest. Alright, so the input is going to be the gold chest, which is further away and not that one. And we are going to do from down, activate the items we want are flint. Because I can't imagine, I've got tons of flint anyway, so I can't imagine I'm going to want a hell of a lot of it. And the destination is the trash can. Uh, again, it doesn't matter and then we can link that up and that should have got rid of all the flint in the system so the idea is to try and keep this managed in such a way that we can uh, we're only containing certain items so at the moment this is not doing anything because the dust is here so there's going to be dust in here and dust in here and both of those want to go here so I'm going to get those set up. They are pretty much exactly the same thing. Uh, and once we've got that going, I'll be right back with you. And that is it. So this is all working exactly as expected. Um, the system is doing more gravel than it can possibly use. Now, again, I could increase that. Well, I can and probably will increase the number of autonomous activators down here uh, and link them into the network. The sand is there, is nicely backing up, and obviously all the materials are coming in here. Once there's enough for a block of diamond, that will move over. Similarly with emerald, uh, we don't get gunpowder out of this, which is perfect, so don't have to worry about that. But gunpowder will actually compress into a block, which is quite nice. Um, that is all packaged through here then it gets chunked through into this if it goes into sand it gets put back over here sand will get through into dust and dust and everything will come over here with me so far <laughs> anyway this really this is actually pr probably way simpler than it, uh, way more complicated than it needs to be there's probably really clever fancy stuff we can do with flow controls and uh, all of these, you know, emitters and auto crafters and yeah. But um, I think at the moment 
what's that? What's the camouflage updater? Box all. Sides. Yeah, I can probably hide them. That's all right. Uh, we'll just bin that for now. Anyway, so yeah, that's uh, that's the first step that we're going to do with this. Uh, next episode, I want to automate the production of soul sand, which will then come into this third automat autonomous activator here and will give us access to gas tiers, which is something we're dreadfully short of, uh, uh, otherwise known as we ain't got none. Um, and that is going to happen downstairs down here. Um, now I will probably need to make a silken, I think it's a silken, silky jewel, but I need a block of emerald to do that. So I can't do that. I, I've got one more ancient spore left, so I, I don't desperately need that. So we just uh, stop drinking my bottles. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much where we're at at the moment. And then the final thing to do will be to bring dust into the equation, um, which will probably get done next episode as well, hopefully. But we'll see how we go. Um, so until next time, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.